The pandemic taught us that teachers unions are poisoning our kids with CRT and this gender weirdness. We also found out all they care about is money. After all, that's why they fought tooth and nail to keep the schools closed. Give us more money, they said, then we'll come back. So while little Jimmy was miserable stuck at home and learning through Zoom, the unions were doing this. Make it make sense. Safety is essential. Safe return or no return. Oh, God. So this is just one layer of a larger problem. Every year, these unions bring in millions and millions of dollars in these member fees. Now, that money is supposed to go towards things like school funding and collective bargaining. But... Guess what the Government Accountability Institute found? I bet you're wondering. Well, it turns out most of that money going straight to Democrats. Listen to this. In 2021, the National Education Association spent $66 million on politics, twice as much as they spent on teachers. Breitbart says during the 2020 election, 100% of the $59 million sent to these outside political groups from the NEA and the AFT went to leftist causes to support radicals like AOC and Pelosi and Crooked. That is a lot of money. Just think of how much money you could spend on iPads. $59 million on iPads. Your public school could look like Harvard. The priorities are clear. Look, people like Randy Weingartner with the American Federation of Teachers they care more about political power than our kids. I mean, just look at the test scores. Our kids can't do math anymore, and they're behind in reading now. So what's Randy doing about it? Well, when she's not visiting Ukraine twice in the last year, she's screaming like a lunatic at Democrat rallies. Listen. But you know who's on our side? You know who's the problem solvers? Governor Whitmer. Who's investing in our kids in our public schools? Who's protecting our democracy? Who's the problem solvers? And then on the other side, on the other side, who's stoking up resentment, anger, and fear? Who's using kids as political pawns? You are, Randy. This actually is exactly what you did. You see, Randy cares a lot about politics. That's why she's traveling all around the country pushing all of these same Democrat talking points. I've watched him basically be a shill for the party that wants to cut taxes for the rich and wants to cut the hard-earned benefits that, that, that Ohioans have earned. Randy, calm down. You're making the Ohioans uncomfortable. Is it just me or does Randy Weingartner sound like Howard Dean, not an educator? You know, I bet she's not teaching your kids about. She's probably not teaching our kids to follow the money. Peter Schweitzer is the president of the Government Accountability Institute who ran this investigation, and he joins me now. That's a lot of moolah, so they're taking this money from the taxpayer, not spending it on the kids, and plowing it back into the Democrats' campaign war chests. Yeah, that's right, Jesse. I mean, look, we've known for a long time, for decades, that uh, the teachers unions tend to be left of center. Uh, but what's happened is they become more and more political and less interested in actually doing what their stated purpose is, which is collective bargaining for teachers. And they've moved from being liberal, sort of Walter Mondale liberals, to being extremely left wing. So you've got these teachers unions, for example, pouring millions of dollars into groups that are pushing for defund the police. How does that help education? How does that help teachers? It doesn't. It makes their lives more difficult. So you've really seen the union leadership go off the rails, uh, and I think it's time for there to be accountability. Members need to start paying attention what the leadership is actually spending the money on. It sounds like a left-wing money laundering operation, because when you think about it, the Democrats get elected, and then they send the money to the teachers unions, and the teachers unions send the money back to the Democrats, who then get elected and send the money back to the teachers unions, right? Is anybody going to yeah. investigate this? This is like, it's looking like an audit needs to happen here. 
Absolutely. There needs to be an audit. And let's make clear, Jesse, look, the NEA, for example, is a nonprofit like the Government Accountability Institute. When you form a nonprofit, you state what your mission purpose is. That's the reason you're giving tax exempt status, for example. So the Government Accountability Institute, I couldn't decide tomorrow to just do horticulture work for poor people in Peru. That's not part of our mission purpose. <laughs> the NEA's mission as purpose. As noble as the that NEA's is. Mission, <laughs> exactly. But the NEA's mission purpose is, they say, collective bargaining for teachers and promoting the good side of public education in America. Well, that's their mission purpose. What they're spending their money on has nothing to do with mission purpose. The IRS ought to be all over this from the standpoint of their nonprofit tax exempt status, but I'm not holding my breath that they're going to do so. Well, the IRS now has about 65,000 new agents and they all have weapons. So are they going to be looking into the teachers union? I doubt it. They're probably going to be kicking down doors of election deniers, according to the president. All right, Peter, great reporting, as always. Great investigative work. Thanks, as always. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.